Hi, happy Thursday. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Lori, also known as Psy Moon. Let's go ahead and get to our daily guidance. I'll pull an oracle card and go from there. As always, if you've never been to my channel, I do not take tempers. I wait for my guides and angels to tell me the cards are in the order that they need to be in. And while bad things do sometimes happen, I will always try to find a positive outcome. All right, let's go ahead and get to our reading and messages for the day. Claim your power. Absolutely. Please step up and claim your power. Take inspired action. Cultivate willpower. You've got this. Inspired action. You want to talk inspired action? You want to know what I did today? I started my podcast. I worked it out. I deleted my World of Warcraft YouTube channel. And I went ahead and made my handling channel the main one. And I was able to work it out to where I can make my YouTube videos into podcasts. And so I started my podcast today. Inspired action. We're working on it. I'll put the details up as soon as I have it all ready for you. Let's go ahead and get a high vibe card for the day. Yeah, and I have it. I I haven't, you know, really transferred any of my videos yet, but I will into MP3 so that I can post them to the podcast. But I'm very excited to be working on it to expand my audience a little bit. I'm excited. I want more people to hear my words. Well, they're not my words. They're words from the divine, from my angels, guides, and fairies through the cards. I think it's a great thing. A static union, yeah. I wish to share it more and more that so more people can understand the connection to the divine that they have inside and truly explore how to connect even deeper, a deeper level. A deeper connection. I have a whole program based on it. Establishing a deeper connection with the divine and your higher self. Yeah, it's great. It really helps us through the heart awakening process to have programs in place. It truly does. You know, so many more hearts are going to be awakening this year. I told you the Tuatha de Danon are back. They are here. You know, I mean, you can take my word for it or you can Google and search where all the areas were misty on July 1st, 2023. I guarantee you, you'll see that Rockford, Illinois has had fog and mist for the past week. And it's the Tuatha Dé Danann coming in for a new start. And I'm here to share their word and their love and their beauty and the love and light of their magic and the true wisdom that comes from knowing them and inviting them in, all the faith. It's just a matter of changing the direction just a little bit just a little. Allow the divine essence within your heart to grow. Your spiritual being of light, allow them to grow. Allow them to grow and flourish and connect with the earth and all of the divine in nature. Yes, the fae, the fairies, I don't know how you look at them, sprites, pixies, but we're all the same. We're all fae. We're all develop angelic beings of light. That's my opinion. I mean, you know, Fae, they're half human, right? Half human, half fairy, the Tuatha de Danann. Half human, half fairy. Truly beautiful ma makers of magic, true love and light and laughter and beauty. Yes, you know, fairies are the smaller version, they say, but you know, they're all the same and they're all our kindred spirits. They all are. They are our family and it's time to welcome them home with open arms and allow ourselves to truly expand and blossom as we're supposed to, to truly allow the angelic being of light within us and all of our brothers and sisters, no matter where they're from, to honor it and allow them to flourish within the universe. Yes, and it is with a gentle release that we need to do so. And we do the gentle release as we listen to the elemental plane calling us home to work with the spirits of the earth and that elemental plane. You know, all the fairies and the crystals and the spirits of nature, angels and guides, work with all of them to truly, truly gain the things that we need within this world 
so that we can finally have success. You just need to remember one thing, just as all of us are learning to connect again when we get angered or frustrated. And this is for the Tuatha de Danon and us, all of us, all angelic beings of life, no matter where we come from, we need to learn to work together as one big happy family. And we do that when things don't resonate with us or something happens and we're like, well, what the fuck was that? What are you talking about? It's then that you need to find a way to look at it from all sides with a gentle release to release it back out. The negativity, the limiting belief, the things that we need to find the common ground with for all of our ancestors, all of our brothers and sisters throughout the entire universe. Yes, the entire universe. It's time for all of us to come together again and truly work to raise the vibration of the planet so that we can all be happy. All of us, everywhere, within, within the entire universe. And then, and then, it's a matter of maintaining balance. Yeah, the infinite possibilities and love of the universe. We need to maintain the balance between all spiritual beings, angelic beings of light throughout the entire universe. Yes, not just us, all of us, not just us humans. We came here, we agreed to come and take on this human form and to learn and grow and raise the vibration of the planet in order to help bring us all back home. Just remember that life is fragile balance, that delicate balance. Once, once we restore it, we need to remember that we serve in true reverence to the divine in all. True reverence with true love and gratitude and forgiveness when we need to. To maintain that balance and that peaceful existence within this world and truly connect to the crystalline grid and explore the outer realms of your mind and the universe through astral projection and soul flight and dreams. Through the shamanic path, however you wish to look at it, working with the plants and the spirits of nature. Try meditation, release your soul free to fly. Now I'll pin the meditation in the comments. I absolutely will. Let's go ahead and get a healing energy. It's a brief beginner meditation. But yes, I will gladly post it. Joy to the world. What a great song. Joy to the world. All the boys and girls now. Joy to the fishes in the deep blue sea. Joy to you and me. Yeah, it's a great song. It is. I would love to bring joy to the entire world. But you know, I love the ladies. Have some fun. I don't love the ladies. I'm a lady. I actually do go for the opposite sex. I do like men. Or, you know, you know what I mean. No, there is no, no male nor female within that that um, 5D existence, spiritual beings of life. We are male and female, but we all hold the divine feminine, the divine masculine within us, and we hold it very sacred to establish that balance and maintain it. You know we do. Well, think about it and you tell me. You don't have to give up sex, all right? Stop. My fucking God, are you serious? We're talking about love, true love. There is nothing more intimate than bearing your soul to somebody. Fuck getting naked and having sex. Get naked and bear your soul. Truly bear your soul. 
Let it all spill out all over the place. Share exactly who the fuck you are and what you've been through. Share from your heart. Get that intimate. Allow your other half to see you cry and bear your soul. Hell, do what I do. Bear it to the universe. Let everyone see. Let them all watch the changes happen. Fuck them if they don't understand. We are united. When we get together, a united front to stand in the face of all adversity and pick up the quest in each other's lives and help each other reach the divine light, that path to ascension. To truly, truly let it ring out everywhere you possibly can. And let's, let's lift us all up. Let's let the love shine. Go ahead and take a deeper look into the spirit of the earth and releasing and working with nature, releasing all your aggravation gently and working with nature to truly become the earth angels that we were meant to, to truly spread love throughout the entire universe. Because we all know the sacred law, no matter what faith you walk within, as above, so below, as within, so without. Light, dark, good, bad, shadow, light, no matter how you look it, there is one constant though, aside from the sacred law, and that is the infinite love and possibilities of the universe when you live to serve the divine in true reverence to the divine and all spiritual beings of light, angelic beings of light. All right, let's go ahead and get our healing energy now, shall we? And I don't know where that came from, but hey, I'm not gonna argue with it. You know me, I never argue. The messages come and I just let them come. I'm just the channel. Positive action. I focus on the beauty of me and I find silence. I live and honor the present by doing what I can do now. What I cannot change, I let go of and entrust to God, the divine. God as you see God. You don't have to see him the way I do, but I guarantee as you continue to work with your divine essence inside and truly enter the void to see what you can find in the shadows, those treasures to bring them out and live in light, I promise you it's true freedom when you learn to work with all the energy. I realize my wounds create doubt, resentment, and guilt, so I work to free myself of darkness. I cast off negative thoughts, find peace in my heart, and discover the being of light within me. Yep, all it takes is a little trust. That hard fucking word that I'm working on right now, trust. To trust the universe, to trust my brothers and sisters, my spiritual family, kindred souls. To find them and trust them to, with my heart and my life. I trust my life and my strength. Each moment guides me to the light. Everything on my path is placed there for my growth. It can be hard to trust those when we're just meeting them. I, we all know that wolves in sheep's clothing exist. We do know that, but it's then that we need to learn to listen to the voice of our heart and see with the eyes of our heart so that we can always look for that enlightenment in all situations and to know when something is not right for our heart and soul because it truly doesn't resonate with us. I silence the fear in me and discover the voice of my heart. The fruit of these words guides me. I trust the song of my soul. My intuition leads me on the path to light. And I pray it always does, always leads you on the path to light. Love and light to you always. I wish you the best in life. Bright blessings and namaste. Bye-bye. Have a great day and don't forget, if you like my videos, Hit like, subscribe, and come on back for more. And please feel free to share. Bye-bye.